Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss about auto transform on. We will be having some numericals, a brief introduction and everything. We will have some fun. Let me introduce myself. I am Vibin Dev, second year triple D student from NIT Andhra Pradesh. Okay, let's start. You can ask what is auto transformer. Auto transformer it is also called auto step down transformer. And it is a transformer which only having one winding. We have already studied about two winding transformer which having two windings primary and secondary which are electrically isolated means there is no connection between primary and secondary but in auto transformer you will only have one winding and in that some portion will be acting as both primary and also secondary you have see you can see the diagram here in this diagram as you can see everything is mentioned the primary voltage secondary voltage everything the load everything is mentioned here and we are going to derive the relation between primary voltage and secondary voltage as you can see the ratio between v2 by v1 minus v2 v2 here by v1 minus v2 will be equal to n2 by n1 minus n2 because it's turn ratio to the voltage ratio as you have already studied about this in previous classes uh, when you are studying about two winding transformer after deriving it we can see that the voltage ratio of auto transformer is just like same as the voltage ratio of two winding transformer and also you can see that v1 minus v2 into i1 will be equal to v2 into i2 minus i1 after simplifying it we will get that v2 by v1 equal to i1 by i2 means this all re relations are just like same as the two winding transformer okay let's see the power transfer of auto transformer as i already said the relation between the transformer ratio this just like the two winding transformer the v2 by v1 equal to n2 by n1 since the primary and secondary winding of auto transformer is connected magnetically as well as electrically as you can see in two winding transformer there was no connection between primary and secondary the connection was purely magnetic but in auto transformer the connection is both magnetically and electrically so the power is transmitted as L electrical and also in inductivity means conductively and inductively the apparent power transferred inductively will be equal to v2 into i2 minus i1 means v2 into i2 minus i1 uh, after deriving it we can see that it is equal to v1 i1 into i1 minus k then therefore the power transfer inductively will be equal to input into 1 minus k so we should find out how, how much is the power which is transferred conductively for finding that we will just minus input minus input into 1 minus k which is the power transferred inductively then you will get into k into input so we can conclude that the power transfer conductively will be equal to k the transformer ratio into input input power and the power transfer inductively will be equal to input into 1 minus k so i hope this concept you are clear with it now we will see the advantages of auto transformer as you can see an auto transformer requires only less copper than two winding transformer because it's only having a single winding on a soft hand core and the auto transformer will operate at a higher efficiency than of first two winding transformer the if you ask why the r equivalent and xl equivalent of the auto transformer will be less than the the two winding transformer having the same transformation ratio transformer ratio it's because i will give an extra ppt uh, along with this video in that there will be derivation of the r equal and then x equal so we will go to the next point an auto transformer will be having a high voltage regulation than a two winding transformer if you ask why there also the voltage regulation you if you remember the voltage regulation equation it will be equal to r cos phi plus xl sin phi then if you think if the r, r equal and then xl equal is less automatically the voltage regulation will be high so the uh, the auto transformer has smaller size than a 200 transformer of the same right same rating rating the auto transformer has same then the auto transformer will be having the smaller size than a 200 transformer of same rating if you ask why so in 200 transformer will be having two windings here only one winding an auto transformer requires only a small exciting current than a two winding transformer of the same right same rating until now we have discussed about the advantages of auto transformer now let us see what are the disadvantages as i already said 
I already said mentioned before, daughter ensemble will be having no electrically isolated primary and secondary coil. I have said that is the advantages of water transformer, but it will also lead to some disadvantages because there is a direct connection between primary and secondary. Therefore, if any fault happens in secondary, it will affect the primary and if any faults happens in the primary coil, it will affect the secondary coil. Just assume that there is a fault in secondary coil, means 2-3 coil. Then here, if it, here, if this get open circuited, the 1100 volt will be shown here directly to the load. It will have to, it will lead to some tragedies. That is the main disadvantage of auto transformer. And if something happened to the primary coil, any fault happened to the primary coil, it will affect the load also. So these are the main disadvantages of auto transformer. So let us see for what this auto transformer was used. We have already studied about the voltage drops occurring in the distribution and transmission lines in power systems. This auto transformer will be used to comp compensate the, those voltage drops, which we have studied before. Auto transformer are used for reducing the voltage supply to AC motors during the starting period. Auto transformer are used for continuously variable supply. Now we have seen the advantages, disadvantages, and applications of auto transformer. While saying the advantages, we have mentioned that the copper weight necessary for auto transformer is less than 2 and in transformer. So we are going to derive the equations which will lead us to the amount of copper saved during while using auto transformer. The weight of copper required in a winding will be proportional to current in returns. While current increases, area of cross section increases which will increase the weight. When turns increases, the length increases. The length of the wire required increases. There so it will also increase the weight. So in a winding transformer, means 2nd transformer, the weight of copper required will be proportional to I1 N1 plus I2 N2. But in an auto transformer, the weight of copper required in one section, 1 2, means this session. This session will be proportional to I1 into N1 minus N2. And the weight of copper required in 2 3, means this session, will be proportional to I2 minus I1, which is the current flowing to that session, into N2. So the total weight of copper required will be proportional to I1 into N1 minus N2 plus I2 minus I1 into N2. Now we are going to take the ratio between the weight of auto transformer by the weight of copper and ordinary transformer. After we have, we have discussed about these two equations before. Then after simplifying it, we will get it, this ratio will be equal to 1 minus K. I don't think I didn't I need to explain this derivation which is a total in maths. So the weight of copper and auto transformer WA will be equal to 1 minus K into weight of ordinary transformer. It is a main, it is one of the important equation. You should, this will be the problems related to this will come in many competitive exams like gate and IES. So make sure that you don't forget this. WA equal to 1 minus K into W0. Saving in copper will be equal to W0 minus WA, which is which is the, the weight in weight required in 2N transformer minus the weight required in auto transformer will which will be equal to K into W0. So the K saving in copper will be equal to K into weight of copper in ordinary transformer. In this session we have find we have derived two equations. These two equations will be handy for solving many numericals uh, from this auto transformer. So don't forget this. We have already studied what are the advantages, disadvantages and amount of copper saved and all the basic concepts of auto transformer. So we are going to the next session which is the numericals. This question is not only numerical. This is this is example of how a 2 n transformer can be changed. What are the different methods to change to reconnect a 2 n transformer into auto transformer. So let's see on it. A 25 kilowatt ampere 2500-250 watt 2 winding transformer is to be reconnected as an auto transformer. Determine the KVA output and the voltage ratio uh, auto transformer for all possible connection. See here the objective is not to create a auto transformer which having the same transformation ratio but the objective is to reconnect a 2 winding transformer to an auto transformer. So be clear about your objective. This is the figure of 2 winding transformer which is mentioned in the question. You can see two 
2500 volt 250 volt 10 ampere 100 ampere a b c d so we are going to figure out how we can change this into a auto transformer we will see all the possible connections here as you can see the a b here this a b coil is treated as the common coil for primary and secondary in this sphere you can see this port this this is input and this is output after seeing this sphere you will be clear how much power is transferred to the output this kind of connection is called additive step up you can see the a b is connected as common winding and a is connected to d this is one type of connection this is the next possible connection we can see a b and c d here c d is treated as the common winding and d and a is connected d and a is connected the same the connection is same but the only difference will be this c d is connected as the common winding that is the difference between addictive step down and addictive step up this is the next possible connection subtractive step up here you can see the common point is ca and the common winding is ab this a and c is connected and you can see the trans transformer ratio in input and output power mentioned in this diagram itself this is the last possible connection here you can see c is connected to a and the only difference is cd is treated as common winding but in previous one ab was connected as common winding that is the difference now we have seen four type of reconnection and four type of different ways to make a two winding transformer into a auto transformer and we have we have seen what will be the difference while connecting and what are the difference in transformation ratio in each in each type of connections okay let's move let's move on to the next numerical an auto transformer supplies a load of 3 kilowatt at 115 volt at a unity power factor if the applied voltage is 230 volts, calculate the power transfer to the load inductively and conductively. So, we well, let's check out how we can solve this. Yeah, I think you remember this equation. Power transfer inductively equal to input into 1 minus k. Power transfer conductively is equal to input into k. So, we have all, all necessary requirement for finding the power transfer inductively and conductively. And so, we can directly get the answer from this equ equation itself k equal to 115 by 230 equal to 1 1 by 2 by inductively transfer power equal to 3 into 1 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1.5 kilowatt conductivity equal to 1.5 kilowatt this is the solution of this numerical here's the next question the primary and secondary voltage of an auto transformer is 500 volt and 400 volt respectively show with an aid of a diagram the current distribution in the winding when the secondary current is 100 ampere and they calculate the economy of copper in this particular case so we need to find the current across the transformer and also the amount of copper saved economy of copper means amount of copper saved so let's see how we can solve this k equal to v2 man v2 by v1 we will get the transformer ratio then we can find the i1 using this formula i1 equal to k into i2 we have seen that k equal to i1 by i2 so obviously we can find i1 and i2 by this after finding i1 and i2 we need to draw the diagram so this is the mentioned diagram everything is marked here primary voltage secondary voltage, the current, everything is marked in this diagram itself. So, after, after you get, draw this diagram, we need to move to next session of the question. The next session will be economy of copper in this particular case. I think we have already derived the co amount of copper saved. It will be K into weight of copper used in 2 and in transformer. For here, the economy of copper is asked, only, so we only need the percentage of copper saved, which is K into 100, 100, 100 equal to 80 percentage. Let's say this problem is solved. Okay, we are moving to the fourth question. Determine the core area, number of turns, the position of tapping point for a 500 kilowatt ampere 50 hertz single phase, 6600 by 
5000 volt auto transformer assuming the following approximate value emf per ton equal to 8 volt maximum flux density equal to 1.3 vapor per meter square here we need to find the core area number of turns and the position of tapping point for a 500 kilowatt ampere this is different from the questions we have seen earlier so let's see how we can solve it i think you remember this equation also e equal to 4.44 into frequency into 5 m n volt here we have em of per turn means e by n and we have the frequency 550 hertz so we can find the total flux linked after finding it we can find out how how much is the core area the 1.3 weber per meter square is maximum flux density is 1.3 weber per meter square then core area will be 0 0.03604 which is the flux link divided by 1.3 equal to 0 0.0277 meter square equal to 277 centimeter square so turns of high water side number of turns in high water side will be 6600 by 8 6600 is a prime v1 and by 8 is emf per turn equal to 825 turns of lv side equal to 5000 by 8 equal to 625 hence the tapping should be at 200 turns from the high voltage and or 625 turns from the common end so let's see here see this diagram here the, from high voltage side means from this point the tapping this tapping should be the tapping should be from 200 turns or from the point 3 the tapping should be at 625 turns so the v1 will be 6600 and v2 will be 5000 let's see this solve problem is solved Okay guys, we have seen different numericals and some concepts of auto transformer. So we'll go, we are moving to the last session. We'll be discussing some MCQs now. So let's start. Which of the following is the main advantage of a auto transformer over a two winding transformer? History loss are reduced to saving in winding material, copper losses are negligible, AD losses are totally eliminated. After reading this question, you don't need to worry about anything. We have derived many equations to find out how copper is saved, how much copper is saved during this, uh, how much copper is saved in auto transformer. And uh, if we have listed the saving of copper as a main advantages of auto transformer. So there is no doubt the answer will be B. Okay, let's move to the next question. An auto transformer makes effective saving in copper and copper losses when its transformation ratio is approximately equal to 1 less than 1 greater than 1 cannot be found. I think you remember the amount of copper saved, percentage of amount percentage of copper saved is K into 100. So when K is near nearly equal to 1, when K near nearly approaches to 1, the amount of copper saved will be too high so the answer will be approximately equal to one i think you understood that one so let's move to the next question which of the following is not true regarding the auto transformer compared to two winding transformer low reactants low lower losses higher exciting current better voltage regulation when i said the advantages of auto transformer i have mentioned that auto transformer only required lower exciting current so without any doubt we can choose this one the answer is c i hope you understood everything guys i hope you enjoyed this this video we had discussed many things about auto transformer and written numericals i hope you enjoyed the session i'll be providing an ppt along with this video so you can refer so that's it it's time to say goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.